Thank you, Henry. And it's a ghost story, but it's also a seasonal classic. Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol has been adapted many times in many different ways. And one adaptation is going up on stage with the youth players at the Mid-Ohio Valley Players Theater in Marietta. I'm here with Chloe Patterson, who's playing Ebenezer Scrooge, the iconic miser. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. So can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been with MOVP? Um, I've been at MOVP since my seventh grade year. Okay. I started in Little Women. I was on stage for a total like two minutes. <laughs> and so it's, like, it's so crazy that I get to be like this big role who like never leaves yeah. the stage. So how does it feel for you to go from, to see this kind of growth in your theater career? Um, it's definitely, I don't know, I look back and I'm very impressed with myself and very happy with myself. Uh, I would not be the actor I am today without yeah. my directors at MOVP, but also um, I started doing musicals and I wouldn't have done that without them. So I just, I'm really happy with my journey and how long I've come. And how did you end up playing Scrooge? Um, so actually I was in, uh, Florida for the auditions, but I really, like, it's my senior show, I really wanted to audition, and so I came uh, to JR and I was like, can I audition like the day before? Yeah. So I auditioned the day before, and he was like, what role are you interested in? I was like, I really want to be screwed. I was yeah. like, that's such a like, fun role that I could play. And um, he said, I don't know how auditions are going to shake out yet, but we'll see what we can do. And I was in Florida, and I got the little notification that I was screwed. That was really awesome, so. That's so fun. Yes, so what a great little surprise to have. Yeah, and I was with my grandma too, so it was like, it was it perfect. Better. And so what makes this adaptation different from other adaptations of the story? This adaptation was actually done by one of our directors, uh, oh. Sue Boyer. Mm -hmm. uh, she is amazing at what she does. She's her our costumer mm -hmm. as well. And so like, it's just so amazing to see that something that someone from our theater put together and yeah. we get to act it out. And it's just so nice because also Sue is um, retiring from MLBP okay. this year. So just to do something of her show, yeah. it's just, it's wonderful. It probably makes it more meaningful yeah, for everybody. Yeah, it really does. It really does. As well. And so if somebody is sitting at home and they really want to want to see this play, when and where is it? Um, it's this Friday, December 8th at 7, Saturday, December okay. 9th at 7, and sa Sunday, December 10th at 3. And can people get tickets? How can they do that? Um, so tickets are available at MLBP. MidOhioValleyPlayers.com. They're $10 each, and you can also get them at the box office uh, 90 minutes before the show. Okay, and so Ebenezer Scrooge, we talked about this a little bit ago. He is an older man, so tell us a little bit about how you are kind of getting into this character. Um, so playing a man when you're a female is actually pretty difficult. Yeah. Uh, the hair, the makeup, it just, the costumes, it's yeah. all really difficult. So we are, um, I have giant wrinkles across my face, uh -huh. uh, the um, <laughs> white hair, and I just, I think of myself, I, it's, I in, like embody Snap Sever Snape and the uh -huh. Grinch, and that's how I really get into character. I love that combination. <laughs> I love that combination. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning. We really appreciate it. We're gonna have all that information on how you guys can go watch over in our online article a little bit later, but we'll have more on Daybreak coming up after this break.